Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are currently, along with the the hive over here and the rest of the just axis, currently working on eliminating the last of the glitch defense unit, the awakened empire down here that the that the contingency woke up and sicked on everybody. We just need to finish bombarding the Alpha Complex here until we have these military units down. It's just kind of obnoxious, so we'll have that taken care of relatively soon. And then, we are also currently working on taking out this here in Sitter. So I see that they have a new fleet here, so let's not actually go directly in. Oh, okay, the fleet actually jumped out. So, Legion 02, let's have you take out this fleet first. That'll be, you know, exciting. They have so many infinite, f infinitely spawning fleets right now. It's kind of ob obnoxious, but we need to take these guys out right now. We don't want them running around. Victory against the glitch defense unit. Error, 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 error. The ancient precursor state of the glitch defense unit has met its final demise at the hands of its enemies. What the fall of this once great empire will mean for galactic politics remains to be seen. So we won the war, and we took Alpha Refuge, it looks like. Let's just double check that here. There we go. Uh, yeah, we took Alpha Refuge. Sweet. Okay. That is indeed the best possible outcome. So we got Alpha Complex here. These guys are, of course, recently conquered. We have a... We have a few things going on here, but let's just go ahead and toss this into the Valen sector. So this right here, we'll toss in Delta Refuge and Alpha Refuge. There we go. And we'll pull this fleet, or this army even, we'll pull this back to... Oh, they have a fleet right there. We'll pull this back to here, and then our Legion Zero One here, we're going to go ahead and pull to Atlas. There we go. And then, as far as this fight goes, I mean, it's it's just annoying that they had yet another fleet here. We have claimed a new like world. their fleet spawning is pretty intense, actually. It's a good thing we were as prepared as we were. There we go. This fleet is not going to be too much of an issue. Okay. We have a construction ship as well. Let's go repair this and reinforce it. So that's going to take a little bit of time to do. However, Legion 01 is on its way in. We are currently building a Titan for Legion 01. So that'll be fine. We'll just move Legion 01 directly into Sitter, I think, most likely. We'll reevaluate once we get here, but we are still 270 days out, which is unfortunate to be sure. So yeah, I mean, the Valen Cooperative took most of their ring worlds, which I actually they destroyed most of them. Science division didn't they? report success. They did. They destroyed the ring worlds. And I don't know that they have the tech to repair them. We do. Shield hit points plus 5%. That will be very handy. We're going to do another shield hit points plus 5%. We have the tech to repair this, this ring section, correct? Yes, we do. We just don't quite have the minerals. We almost do, though. So we can get this repairing very, very soon. Here in another month, actually. We are going to go ahead and do that. Right about... in another week. So right about now-ish, here in a day now. There we go. Now that ring section is being repaired. Fantastic. Our pioneers have made planet fall. I don't think that the Hive has the tech to do that. I'd be a little surprised if they did. It's kind of a rare technology. 
So as far as this over here goes, they do have a fleet down here. The Hive is going to be dealing with that, it looks like. We are definitely going to be attacking Sitter, though. We need to eliminate this whole contingency nonsense here. We also need to get a new construction ship up. Probably two, actually. Let's build two construction ships. There we go. Reason being, I want to start taking some of this over here. Also, we can bring the ESS Elucidator and start doing automatic exploration. There we go. I don't know where they're going right now. Uh, looks like they're coming over here, and they're going to start surveying over this way. That's fine. They can do that. Where are you, Legion Zero One? You're a hundred days out. That is highly unfortunate. Legion Zero Two is actually getting pretty close to being fully reinforced. Let's go ahead and move you here so that you're in position to back back this up. You don't need to move to repair anymore anyway. I think all you're missing is a Titan, right? No, you have a Titan. You're missing two cruisers and a Titan. Okay. That is intriguing. <laughs> intriguing indeed. Well, we are basically in position now to attack Sitter, and we are 100% doing this. We are going in. We need to destroy this world. This one here, the Sterilization Hub 003. We have to kill it. We're only about 50 days out from there. We're going to send the ESS Fabricator 6. If we can... There we go. We're going to send the ESS Fabricator 6 up to Hithara. There we go. And then once you are done here, we're actually going to send you to go start doing the same thing over here. Excellent. We have a hostile construction ship here. Looks like they are trying to take some of this territory. That's interesting. Let's actually send Legion 02 over here then to go clean this out. Like that. Construction okay. complete. That should be fine. Legion 01, come on in. The way is completely clear for you. You should have no trouble with this. And we now have another construction ship, actually. Our third construction ship is finished, so come on to Pythum for now. Go ahead and do that. Okay. We should be taking out this... This is what, the second or the third AI world? I can check, actually. Um... Active Machine Worlds 3. So this will be the second. Excellent. Yeah, absolutely no trouble taking this out. This is basically undefended at this point. This is, of course, our, like, what, third? Fourth attack on this system? <laughs> it's been costly, to be sure. But worth totally worthwhile. We have to get this contingency problem dealt with. We're going to go ahead and bombard this, and the surface integrity will be Our going down have made substantially. Fall. Oh, look at that. They have access to a gateway. That's how they're getting around. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Okay, well, we'll be taking back as much of that as we can. This down here, I mean contingency is just spreading down here. But we are taking control of it. Surface integrity here is dropping rather quickly. That is fine. We are going to be pushing in this way immediately. Their construction ship will die right now. I think we instantly killed it. Yeah, I'm like 95% certain that that's what happened. And let's start moving our ESS Devastator out over this way. There we go. 
Reason being, we might as well kill this fallen empire. There's no reason to keep it around, I think. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Have we killed this AI world quite yet? Not quite yet. We are getting there. We're getting very, very close. Apparently we can't settle AI worlds. 0% habitability even for our robots. That is interesting. I mean, this becomes a tomb world, right? I think it becomes a tomb world. Yeah, we'll kill this star base. No problem whatsoever there. We didn't even lose anybody. Fantastic. Okay, let's be in position to attack this fallen empire. We're going to have our second fleet in position to attack it soon as well. We're going to go ahead and move our army into Sitter for now. We need to clean up some of this area though. Machine World Destroyed. Sterilization Hub 003, the machine world in the Sitter system, has been destroyed. After being subjected to heavy orbital bombardment, the planet's AI core self-destructed to prevent capture by triggering a massive antimatter device hidden deep beneath the surface. With the destruction of this planet, the ghost signal has lost an important relay station, and its strength has waned considerably as a result. In addition, the explosion on the planet has spread large deposits of living metal across its surface. This strange material has several unique properties, and it is used by the contingency in the construction of all its warforms and factories. A victory for the entire galaxy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab all of these. Grab this, and then come back over here and start bombarding Zipper. Excellent. So that'll take a little bit of time for this fleet to do. Not a huge amount. We'll go ahead and re reinforce the one corvette that we lost. And once we've taken this area up here, we'll just wipe out the vestige real quick. Completed. That won't be a problem. Yeah, this, this will not be an issue at all. No, don't repair fleet. That's not the button I wanted. Go ahead and do this. Grab that. Grab that. Come on back to zipper. There you go. Excellent. Now as far as these guys go, they are considered inferior. Their fleet power is pathetic compared to ours. So that's good. The ESS Devastator is going to be moving into Witress. They only have the four worlds, so that won't be too, too bad. They do have about a 30k fleet strength. We're not really concerned about that, though. There we go. Contingency lost yet another system. We have claimed a new world. Contingency is not doing too well over on this front. Over here, they're doing pretty well, but Construction them complete. fighting a two-front war is maybe not their best plan. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a starbase here in Python. There we go. Legion 01 is currently fighting down here. Looks like we did lose a little bit. That's fine. We have plenty of minerals. Actually, we didn't lose anything. Uh, the thing is that this Titan finished, and it needs to be in this fleet, but it can't be in this fleet because our fleet cap is completely messed up. Okay, let's see if we can adjust this, shall we? Down to 33. Well, we can't right now. We need to wait for some ships to die. That's fine. You can go ahead and come on in here, enter orbit of Zipper. These, we actually don't need to bombard this, so that's fine. Once we take out Ginnum, Ginium up here, then we would be fine to just move up here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Helix, come on up here too. See if you can catch up a little bit. We're not going to declare war quite yet. Not until this fleet is in position. But once it is, then we'll be fine. I mean, maybe we want to hit up here first and just take out this fleet immediately. Yeah, that's probably a better plan. 
Construction Come complete. on, kill that starbase. It's just a starbase. There you go, guys. Okay, come on up over here. We'll have Helix come up over here, too. Go ahead and land armies here on Zipper. All sword there we go. Conquest of Zipper 1. Withdraw our forces to orbit. So we destroyed the colony there. That'll be great. We are going to go ahead and leave our army complete. where it is. Okay, our Colossus is just about in position. So now we just need to wait for this army, or rather this fleet, to get in position. And we're actually going to go over here and be here. 60 days. Gotcha. Our pioneers we also have construction ships fall. that aren't constructionating, and that's a problem. These should be constructionating. So we're going to go ahead and have them constructionate. Uh, it's not yet fully surveyed. Gotcha. Okay, um, as far as this goes, we should probably get this starbase upgrading, since the contingency destroyed one of our one of our big defense stations, which is unfortunate, to be sure. Another 45 days. Sounds good. As far as this down here goes, wow, that's slaggy. It's like it's it's getting worse. Which is a little surprising, considering we've killed a lot of stuff. Of course, we also have a lot of stuff going. Okay, we are now in position. Excellent. Let's declare war on these guys. We're going to cleanse them. Standing by to commence offensive operations. There we go. Ticket a day. Construction complete. Jump on in. Jump on in. There we go. Excellent. We should have no problem whatsoever taking out these stations. Theoretically. I mean, they might be itemized perfectly against us. But I kind of doubt it go ahead and build all of our things here and then build a starbase at Abdraid. We need to hold Abdraid for sure. Oh look at that, they actually managed to jump out. That's a little surprising. Wonder where they're gonna go. Who knows. Well let's go ahead and move on in. We'll bathe them. They might be going to Mira, or they might be going somewhere else entirely. Hard to tell. Looks like this doesn't have an FTL inhibitor on it. It's just the station. New world has been secured for our so we're going to go ahead and kill this station. Reinforce our fleet. Can we get to Mira? We can get to Mira. Fantastic. They are, I believe, in Halvum right now. We are actually not doing so well over here. That's a little surprising. We are going to kill the station, but we're taking pretty heavy losses. Hmm. Oh well. We have plenty of resources. There we go. Okay, reinforce this fleet. And head over to here. That'll be fine. Excellent. We'll just give them a little bit of new neutron radiation. They'll they'll love it. Organics love neutron radiation. That's what I keep being told. So, I'll keep giving them neutron radiation until one of them tells me otherwise. Okay. We need at this point to chase down this little fleet. So, we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to reinforce this fleet as well. Off we go. We should be able to catch them relatively easily-ish. How's this bathing going? We are charging our weapon. 
Fantastic. Construction complete. Recon pass completed. Okay. Legion 02, why are you... Why have you decided to give up on the chase? I want you to fight these guys. Um... Okay. I, I still want you to fight these guys. Come on over here. We can't seem to click on them. Which is a little strange. Definitely strange. Well, we should be fine. We'll just go ahead and take out this station now. I think they are... Nope, they're heading back this way. Okay. Well, come on over here. And then as far as this goes, we should have this starbase out momentarily. I mean, we aren't doing huge amounts complete. of damage to this thing, primarily because... Yeah, they're actually... They're actually using Gauss cannons and armor. <laughs> Which we're not itemized against, but it's fine. They're so weak at this, at this point. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. And this fleet can honestly come down to Skod. We pretty much don't need any fleets up here other than chasing down this guy. So that's fine. You can come on over here and just bathe Mira. There we go. Can we actually attack this fleet now? Hey, we can! Look at that! Excellent. Okay, well, it kind of looks like they're heading back, heading back towards us a bit. Yeah, they are. Okay, we're definitely going to catch them then. Assuming we actually jump here. There we go. Yep, we caught them. Fantastic. Okay, this war is over. They have nothing we have left. Claimed a new world. Great. Okay, we're gonna come on down here. Construction complete. We have the cogent, which is another titan. Like we have two titans here that we can't really do much with. We're gonna go ahead and stick them. Well, stick them in the scod system for now. Construction complete. How goes your bathing up here? You giving them a nice bath? Where is it? Mira one. Here it is. Um, Construction complete. Twenty percent charged. Okay. Well, we just need to bathe four more worlds, and we'll be fine. Fully occupied by the vestige. Really? Oh, so it is. Okay, um, Legion 02, go ahead and swing up here, grab that, and then come back down. It'll take you a while to do that, but it's fine. There'll be no problem. This construction ship isn't constructionating. We need it to constructionate for sure. We've taken a fair amount of damage and opened up some new areas, so we definitely need to grab some territory. But that's what we're doing. Let's see, the Autonomous Cluster has a fleet here. We need to push them back towards Olimar, which is their main AI world, actually. This is Sterilization Hub 001. This was the first one that spawned, and is currently considered their capital. So essentially, we need to push them out of all of this territory before we attack Olimar. That's the idea, anyway. There we go. Now we got Stare Up back ish as soon as we actually kill it. There we go. Construction complete. One shot with the perdition beam. That's what I like to see. And we are 86% done bathing Mira. There we go. Now it is complete. Fantastic. Hey, look at that. You got a fleet back. How did that happen? Okay, um This is getting really messy. Okay, two things. One, we are currently in battle over here. We may or may not win that. Two, we need a fleet here first. Also, 
this is really getting annoying. We have these two titans, and then we have this here, which is just a destroyer. Okay. Well, we have reinforcements coming in. I think we're going to be fine. Like, we have a lot of reinforcements coming in. Including Our multiple titans. Have made fall. So yeah, we should be okay. Theoretically. Ish. Heavy on the theoretically-ish. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. So we got that taken care of. We don't know where this fleet went. We need this guy to come on down here and bathe Beerzoon the second. Excellent. And we need this fleet to get over here. I think they didn't leave this station, but I don't even... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know what that was. They retreated. Okay, yeah. The strong magnetic field around Locus has been affecting computers on the surface recently. Oddly, this effect is not merely random interference. Instead, computers are actually working more efficiently than they should be. It's almost as if an outside force is lending a helping hand. Fascinating. Also a little creepy. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and next episode we will finish off the Vestige and start attacking this pocket of contingency. See you all then.